Hey guys, so I am in our spare bedroom currently and uh, we hatched out our chicks that we set last month. I'm going to put, um, I have seven baby eggs currently and I think a couple dozen quail eggs I'm going to set. I only have one quail hatch, um, but it was pretty early, that was the first gathering of eggs really, but I'll show you what our chickies look like. So you can see our vast array of colors that we got from our mix of chickens. There you go. There is three little turkins. So I had three turkin eggs that I saved. And really I just saved the cleanest eggs of uh, whatever we gather. But I think this time I'm going to gather just turkin eggs. Except for those girls. Because they are the cutest stinking chickens ever. And, uh, where's the little quail? It's right there. Between, um, the white turkey and... Alright, so I'm going to show you my process. Ooh, let's not get the junk in this room in there. I'll show you my process of what I do to prepare my eggs for setting. I guess, hatching, whatever you want to call it. Okay, I always leave my incubator on the ground just in case something were to happen, it wouldn't get knocked off of a dresser or something. Let me adjust this. Okay. But, all right, so I always leave it on the ground because I don't want to risk knocking it down or dumping it hard or something and the eggs falling out. So the ideal temperature, which this is an old one and it actually says it on there, Operate at 99 and a half degrees for all eggs. So, and it, it has, this is a heating element. And that's what creates the warmth in here. And this is a circulating fan. And as you see on the back side, there's two air holes. This one sucks the air in, and this one is the push it, where it pushes it out. This was an old still air incubator that was converted, but that has water channels underneath it and I just make sure I keep them full if I feel like the humidity is down which I don't have a uh, the thing to measure humidity in here anymore I lost it but if, the, if I feel the humidity is not high enough I put a cup with some water in it and uh, I just fill it up out of the sink but you can see on these I always mark an X because I do not have a turner I mark an X on the eggs so I can know which side is up and I turn them twice a day. So I have all these quail eggs and really I do rotate them in here. I have them sitting in a carton. I just pull the whatever stuck to it off. Quail are extremely hard to mark. I draw an X on it and set it in the incubator. I don't pre-wash my eggs just because I have found that it doesn't improve my hatch rates any. And I always use a pencil because it is these eggs are extremely porous. So I don't want like ink or anything will soak through that. That one's an interesting color. If they're extremely dirty, I don't set them. This one's not bad. Alright, so next thing I'm going to do today is I have this fish scale and this fabric bag and I am going to weigh my meat birds. I only have eight of them, 
but I would like to see how much they weigh. And I'm going to, I guess, do it all on camera. So, hold on, guys. Okay guys, hopefully I'm not cutting my head off. But my heaviest by far, hush guys, was a hen. She weighed six pounds and 12 ounces. I want to butcher them at about seven and a half pounds average. So, whoo, I dented it. Right there. <laughs> I'll scoot over. <laughs> but um, I used a dry erase marker because it is non-toxic to mark the back of their head so I didn't weigh anybody twice. I knew I had eight birds to weigh. My second heaviest was six pounds and seven ounces and it was also a hen. Um, my lightest was also a hen at four pounds and 14 ounces. The heaviest rooster is five pounds and nine ounces. So by far I have the heaviest hen. <laughs> And I have a light hen, but uh, let's see. I'll do the math on it. All right, so I have 45. I have just shy of 46 pounds of chickens under here, and you uh, yield about 60% on their weight. So let's see, 46. So I have about, I have just under 30 pounds of chicken right now, if I were to butcher today. Now, I want to butcher at seven and a half pounds a piece, or on average of seven and a half pounds. So that would be about 36 pounds of chicken. Um, with 36 pounds of chicken, I have quite a few meals, that is. Uh, my math is not great, I guess. Uh, See, that's approximately 36 pounds, at, if I butcher at seven and a half pounds on average. Um, that would give me, actually that'd give me close to 70 meals, I think. It would just depend on how we divide them up. We're probably gonna butcher and cut them in half like we did the roosters that we had last year. Plus I've got two yearling roosters to butcher. One of them attacked me the other day, so he, he has to go. Um, but I was going to let them go ahead and fertilize some more eggs, unless my viewers can help me out. If you know of anybody who has a turkey rooster that they would be willing to get rid of, let me know. I would love a turkey rooster to go with my turkey hens. They are my sweethearts, and I want a lot of them. And in my hatching, I did have three turkey roosters hatch. A white one, a brown one, and a black one. And I don't even have a white or a black turkey and hen, so it's kind of interesting. And I probably am going to go ahead and separate those hens off from the rest of the population. 
with a rooster so that they can have fertile eggs and we'll see what percentage you get out of purebred turkey hens and not turkey roosters. That'd be kind of neat too. Okay, Matt picked me up some uh, cup hooks today. Sorry if it's blurry, but I'm going to attach them into my chicken coop. There is a two by four right here. I'm gonna attach them to it so that way whenever I move, move the chicken tractor down, I can just hang them, hang the water and feeder instead of having to remove the, both items. So I'm gonna show you guys. They may be able to eat out of it that high also, but that's what I wanted to do. The water's not full by any means, but that way I can just hang them while I'm going. And it may also work out, I could add a chain to them, or to go ahead and hang these up off the ground anyway. I put them up that way they can I can just hang them whenever I scoot it yes they are very crooked but that board this is actually off of a pallet and it is extremely hard to screw those into if it falls out I'll figure something else out one last thing before I go I'm going to hang up um, some solar lanterns on my the ends of my arbor I guess my arch over my over that thought about doing plants they're gonna be extremely heavy Matt found me two really cute little solar lanterns and we're gonna hang them on each other I think they're gonna be adorable um, so I'm gonna do that before I let you guys go There they are guys, and I don't know if you caught my very sophisticated way of measuring, but I used my thumb. <laughs> I think they're going to look wonderful. That's if our pole light doesn't overshadow them, but they do work. I tested them out, but you can't see it. <laughs> it's too light outside to see it. They kind of look like a flickering... Um, light. Kind of neat though. Uh, and they should both be turned on still. The wind doesn't take them off, which is a possibility. I may have to do some finagling then. Or move them to the very end here. I like them hanging here, but if I move them to the end, that's not gonna kill me. Alright guys, the wind is blowing, so I'm gonna take that as my sign that I need to go ahead and water, in, water before this wind gets too bad. I don't, I'm not a big fan of the wind. <laughs> I don't like rain either, I guess. But thanks for watching guys. Um, thanks for experiencing something new with me. I have never raised meat birds and was curious to know their weights until I decided you guys might actually be curious to know how much they've actually gained in seven weeks. So I figure, well, they'll be eight weeks Wednesday. Today. Actually, they're eight weeks today. So, I got them on a Wednesday. Sorry if you can't hear me for the wind, but thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all your uh, comments, your likes. Keep coming up with names. We will decide on a name maybe next week. Um, I've gotten some good ones thrown my way. Hopefully, I'll get a few more options. And then, you know, we might let you vote on our favorites. Thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate it. God bless you and we'll see you soon.